The madness continues. The madness continues. It can't stop. It won't stop. <laughs> it can't stop. It won't stop. And y'all continue to let it. Y'all continue. To let it happen. Y'all letting 2K violate y'all rights. Is it really worth it? Is 2K24 really worth it? I told y'all they was gonna start doing this shit. Ten years ago. Ten years ago, I told you they was gonna start doing this shit. <laughs> this shit. And y'all didn't listen. And now look what's going on. They just updated their terms of service to now where if you buy something, if you buy something and it gets deleted by the server, they're no longer responsible for that because you agreed to the terms of service. Therefore, now we can rip you off even more. We can delete your clothes that you earn. We can delete stuff that you earn, stuff that you bought, stuff that you acquired legitimately. Why do you think they're doing this? Money. Why are y'all letting them do this? Because you're stupid. Without further ado, let's get right into this. All right, yeah. So yesterday we dropped a bombshell on the 2K community. As most players who play 2K don't understand the terms of service agreement that they sign up for whenever they load up and get on the game. I dropped a short form video explaining all these details of the terms of service agreement. And as you guys see, it's already damn near up to 200,000. And what we found out through this video is that a lot of players are just ill-informed. They just don't know. And to be honest, I don't expect a lot of 2K players to know this. I'm sure a lot of you guys feel like when you purchase virtual items on 2K, 2K, that is 2K's responsibility to keep those items secure. Those items should be locked into your account for as long as you guys own the game. Unfortunately, what we found out yesterday is that 2K is not liable for any of the virtual items that you guys purchase, including virtual currency. In today's video, we're going to help you guys get a better understanding of your rights as a 2K player. We're going to dive deep. We're going to go more in depth on the terms of service agreement. Knowledge is power, and with that knowledge, you should feel empowered. We finna get into all the details. Y'all be sure to drop a like and drop a sub if you can. Firstly, I want to let you guys know if you haven't been informed yet that 2K is indeed dropping a new terms of service agreement and it starts on February 28th, 2024. And this agreement is something that's mandatory for every single 2K player to accept or else they can't play the game. As it says here, our legal terms are changing on February 28th, 2024. You must accept our new terms in order to play after February 28th, 2024. Look at the levels of scumbag shit. Listen, bro. EA don't even do this. This is where I'm starting to realize that EA ain't even really that bad. They some money hungry, greedy assholes, but they ain't never did no shit like this, bro. 2K is going out of fucking pocket. It is getting out of control. Ain't no fucking way, bro. 
Ain't no fucking way. I did not buy this game. I still haven't bought this game. I will never buy this game. I will pirate this game before I buy it. And I can tell you right now, the terms of service is some piece of shit. This is piece of shit. This is scumbag levels of just ripping people off. Look at what they're doing. They're literally making an announcement without even telling you the details. They won't even tell you the details. You got to go figure them out for yourself. They won't even have the decency to tell you why they're changing the terms of service. You got to click on a link and read it instead of them just pulling it out there and just saying, hey, man, you got to accept our terms of service. Why? Well, because going forward, anything that you put into your account, can be deleted at any time for whatever reason, whether we upload a patch and whether it's our fault or not, we don't have to compensate you anymore. We don't have to put things back in your account no more. We're not going to keep doing this for y'all. Because Why? Because fuck you. That's why. Buy the game. Shut the fuck up. That's what they're saying now. Buy the game. Shut the fuck up. Bro, have y'all noticed that no, that all of the 2K players that was playing 2K for the past, I want to say six, five to six years, none of them are playing 2K. Troy is not playing 2K. Uh, my boy Trey. And Trey and the crew, uh, Chase Money and them, they're not playing 2K like that. Well, Chase Money's playing 2K, but he's playing my GM. Chris Smooth is barely touching this game. No major 2K YouTubers playing this game. Flight 8 playing this game. Cash Nasty ain't playing this game. Nobody's playing this game. Everybody is making their own content. Why? Because it is time to understand that 2K is not it no more, man. 2K is done. 2K is 2K is a shell of itself. 2K is 2K is unacceptable, bro. Duke Dennis ain't playing it. When's the last time you seen Agent touch a 2K? Nobody's playing this fucking game no more. Nobody's pushing the needle no more. It's just a bunch of unheard of YouTubers that 2K is trying to promote and put in our faces and say, hey, these are the 2K YouTubers you need to be watching, man. If you love 2K content, these are the guys. We got them under our bag. We got them signed. We they signed the contracts. We got them in the bag. So go watch their videos. So that way they can uh sell you this video game. And guess what? It's not working because everybody sees the bullshit for what it is, and it's time to just expose it. This game is shit. It's been shit. Before it even came out, it was already shit. And 2K knew it, but it's like, we the only basketball game on the market. Why try? These niggas buy it up anyway. Why we keep putting the effort in? Fuck them. And now they got to the point of scumbag levels where it's like, we're no longer saying, we're saying we are no longer responsible for the shit you lose. Even if it is our fault. Even if we do put a up, how many updates does 2K put in the game? How many patches does 2K put into this goddamn game? From what I hear, it's a patch every one or two weeks. Something's getting patched. Something's getting updated every single week, every single day. Something is getting updated. And through every update, through every patch, 
something's going to go wrong with somebody's account or everybody's account. And now with these terms of services, now we can no longer be held responsible for it. Now you can't sue us. Now you have no rights. We win. You lose. Ha ha. Buy the game. Shut up. Now, see, me personally, I wouldn't take that kind of disrespect. But you, you, oh, you bitch, man. You been, you, you been a bitch. You was a bitch when you bought this game. You was a pussy ass nigga when you bought this game. I feel sorry for your mother who had to buy this game for you, little bitch. I posted this in yesterday's video as well. And before we continue, I just want to add that I find it really strange that 2K is going to force us mid-year after we done made our purchase of their product to sign a new mandatory terms of service agreement. Otherwise, we can't play the game that we actually pay for. Something about that just seems messed up, but I'm definitely curious to hear your thoughts on that sound. And that's another fucked up part about this too, y'all. That's another fucked up part about this too is that... um you already bought the game it's bad enough you gotta pay to get your character up it's bad enough you gotta pay for seasons now it's bad enough that you it's bad enough that you gotta do all you gotta have a whole bunch of in-game currency just to do anything i told you it won't be long before you gotta pay for everything you gotta be a level five just to play exhibition mode I hope y'all know what's going to happen in the future. They making these seasons, the seasons part of this game for a reason. They're bumping up the VC every year for a reason. They're trying to see how much money they can get out of you. So that way the CEO of Take-Two Interactive can get for his yearly bonus. His yearly bonus. The CEO of Take Two Interactive gets a yearly bonus off the microtransactions. So now, not only do you have to pay out the pocket just to have a good experience with the game, now you may be paying more money for shit that you earned, shit that you bought legitimately you didn't do no scams you didn't do no um glitches none of that all you did was play the game and you earned the right to have a pair of jordans on your player of on your player feet you bought the right to have a pair uh, uh, to have a kobe jersey on or or, or 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 some or some basketball shorts some champion gear some uh so what whatever whatever major brand they got on the game you know what i'm saying you you got you some gear on and you bought that shit legitimately and now all of a sudden that shit gone that shit gone and you like yo what happened to that and then you go to 2k support yo i had a pair of jordans that i paid this amount of vc for can i get that back well due to the terms of services we're no longer required to uh help you with that so since you accepted our terms of service we no longer are responsible for that you on your own if you lost it oh well buy it again what you mean buy it again i spent a lot of money bro spend more money it's not our fault Terms of service, nigga. They are legally trying to rob you, bro. This is legal. This is robbing, bro. This is this is robbery, bro. This is robbery. And they're doing it legally with the terms of service. This is crazy off in the comment section below the links for everything we're talking about including the terms of service that we're going to be discussing in this video will be in the description below you can go check it out the newest terms of service were last updated january 29th 2024 and did you guys have any idea that we went into new terms of service because i surely didn't even know we had an updated version of the terms of service and the reason why i find this important is because the terms of service were just updated and a bunch of 2k players had no idea but for some reason these new terms of service which are coming february 28th 2024 it's now mandatory for us to sign it otherwise we can't play just 
seems a little sketchy, man. Something's fishy about this. I would like to reference this post from Steven Totilo, a writer at Axios.com, in which he reported a new lawsuit pending against 2K in November of last year. It says here, a new lawsuit against Take-Two over NBA 2K microtransactions focuses on the novel accusation of theft. And the core issue held against 2K was that 2K won't let you transfer virtual currency to new games as it shuts old game servers pretty fast, leaving its players with unused VC. Ironically, that lawsuit started in November and the terms of service were last updated in January. And unless you guys are constantly seeking out the terms of service, you're probably like me. You had no idea they updated the terms of service. Firstly, I want to let you guys know that 2K has made it clear through the terms of service that you guys have already agreed to that they are not liable for any of the virtual items that you guys purchase, including virtual currency. In the last updated terms of service agreement, 2K has also made clear that any dispute you have with 2K has to be taken through arbitration and will not go to any court. Through the terms of service that you guys currently agree to, you cannot set up a class action lawsuit or any type of collective against 2K. All disputes are currently settled out of court and that's mainly because in this terms of service agreement that you guys have already accepted which will be updated yet again in february there's an arbitration agreement that waives your right to take 2k to court but again don't worry about it we're going to review everything in detail in this video one of the most important things that i want you guys to know is that you have the option you retain the option to opt out of this arbitration agreement but this process will prove to be a little more difficult for most 2k players as it's not as simple as just clicking i decline this arbitration agreement or i decline these new terms of service as it says here in section three applicability your right to opt out you have the right to opt out of this arbitration agreement you must notify us in writing within 30 days of the date that you first accept this agreement it's called an opt-out notice unless a longer period is required by applicable law and here you guys have the address where you can write to submit your notice to opt out the opt-out notice must include your full name your mailing address your account name if you have one and a clear signed statement that you do not agree to the arbitration agreement you are responsible for ensuring our receipt of your opt-out notice you therefore may want to send your notice using a delivery method that provides you with a written receipt of delivery an example of this is is going to the post office and sending your opt-out notice through certified mail this way you guys can get a delivery receipt as 2k players we all know that 2k is far from error free i can't tell you how many times i've gotten error codes i also can't tell you how many times i've lost all the, my custom sneakers i know a lot of you guys have lost all your tattoos some people have lost builds and each of these items translate into irl money you must use irl money in order to purchase virtual currency in order to get these virtual items do you guys still think 2k is responsible for reimbursing you on those virtual items yes well, let's get into the warranty disclaimer 15.2 warranty disclaimer says to the fullest extent permitted by applicable law the services are provided to you as is as available and with all faults now tell me why 2k would put something like that in their warranty disclaimer with all faults anyway neither take to any digital storefront nor any of our or their respective officers directors managers employees agents or licensors make any representations warranties promises or guarantees of any kind whatsoever as to the software content third-party services or other services whether expressed or implied statutory or otherwise neither take to nor any digital storefronts warrant that the services or third-party services will be accurate or reliable there's no promise they'll be uninterrupted timely secure error free or even free of viruses can you guys believe that this is currently within the terms of service that you guys have already accepted there's no promise that 2k can be virus free or error free over this past week 2k servers have gone down a couple times and they've gone down for hours on end folks were getting online they were going into the rec center and they were receiving error codes a bunch of people couldn't get on any game mode and some of the more consistent feedback that i received from 2k players was that they wanted to be reimbursed for time loss little do 2k players know that 2k is not even liable as it just explained in the warranty disclaimer. Do you guys think that if more gamers knew about this stuff, they wouldn't even purchase the game? It's no secret that 2K is rated a 2.0 on Metacritic. So I could only imagine a player deciding whether or not to play 2K, goes on Metacritic, sees all these reviews or gets reviews off YouTube, and then on top of that, sees this warranty disclaimer from 2K. That alone will probably help them make the decision to not even bother playing 2K. So now let's talk about virtual items. As you guys like to make microtransactions on 2K, you go to Swags, purchase the latest drip, things like this. And as it stands right now, your microtransactions lead to more revenue for 2K than the actual unit sales, than the actual sale of the game. They make more money through microtransactions than they do selling the game. And in case you guys don't know, there's a contract set in place up until 2029 when that contract will be renewed for the top two execs at take two media to receive tremendously large bonuses solely based off of your microtransactions and to help you guys get a better understanding of how much money we're talking about for 2k23 the top two execs received over 70 million between two people with the updated version of seasons within 2k24 paying 
for the Hall of Fame pass and paying it to level skip, I imagine that that number is probably going to double and your microtransactions will probably lead to something like 150 million for the top two execs to split amongst themselves. Under section three in the terms of service, which we'll read off briefly, I'll read off some key points here. It says virtual items. Virtual items means any virtual currency, goods, items, boosts, or effects such as, but not limited to, coins, points, gems, tokens, weapons, vehicles, cars, skins, power-ups, apparel, equipment, trophies, rewards, badges, or any other in-game virtual asset made available, purchased from a digital storefront, earned or otherwise acquired through the services. Those are virtual items. And towards the bottom portion of this segment under virtual items, it says we have the right to modify, delete, move, remove, or suspend any virtual items at any time with or without notice to you and with no liability of any kind to you. We may limit the total amount of virtual items that may be held for any one game or that may be held in your account in the aggregate. We may limit the period of time during which you may hold or use virtual items related to any particular game or other aspect of the services. Additionally, the price and availability of virtual items to purchase or acquire are subject to change. You will agree that you have no ownership or other rights in or to any virtual items or your account. And like I mentioned in yesterday's video, you guys do not even own your account. Nonetheless, own any of the virtual assets that you purchase when you're playing 2K. So as we learned so far, if you guys have issues with 2K, and that would explain why my fucking original account got fucking banned for no fucking reason. Even though I haven't played two, I skipped 21. I did not play 2K21. I promise y'all, I did not play 2K21. I skipped over it. I played 22. All of a sudden, my account is banned. I go to 2K support. They like at this time we can't really explain. At this time, we can't really explain. We we can no we can't go no further. We can't tell you why. Just know that your account is banned permanently. I was like, what I do? I haven't been on my 2K account in years. I haven't been on my 2K account for a whole fucking year, bro. I skipped a whole fucking game. How do I get my shit banned? It was like at this time we can we just can't tell you. We're not allowed to tell you. We're not obligated to tell you. When I was like, well, fuck you then. Well, it's like, well, good luck with that. And I was like, yeah, you good luck with that too. Shit, that's okay though. That's okay though. Fuck you. Fuck fuck two K. 2K. If you have a dispute that you would like to settle with 2K, it will have to be done through arbitration. You cannot take 2K to court. So some of you guys may be wondering what would be the first steps if you would like to demand arbitration from 2K. Some of you guys have disputes that you want to settle on. As it says here under section 5, demand for arbitration. The party starting an individual arbitration must send Jams a demand for arbitration. And Jams is the third party arbitrator that 2K will be using. And you guys will be submitting a form that's available on their website. Again, I'll have the link for the terms of service in the description below. You can go to this section and click on the link to get to jams you guys would have to pay any applicable filing fee and you would also have to mail a copy of the demand for arbitration to the opposing party if you have a dispute with us you must send the copy of your demand for arbitration to the address below take two at 110 west 44th street so those would be the first steps that you guys would have to do in order to settle any disputes that you have with 2k one of the homies in the live stream i think it was the homie hoax if i'm not mistaken mentioned what about the kids how are the kids playing 2k supposed to understand the terms of agreement that they're going to be forced to accept come february 28th Facts. because this New terms of service agreement is so complex we can't expect kids to wrap their mind around this Facts. So this is a game for kids, kids like that's the and that's the fucked up part this is a game for kids kids can play this game that's ridiculous that's so fucking ridiculous if that's the case parents need to start taking these video game companies to court i'm sorry but video game companies need to start getting taken to court because they're taking advantage of kids too you can't say that the parents should be held responsible. How the fuck can the parents be held responsible for 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 a basketball game? It's basketball. They expect they expect they buy this game for their kids. They just expect them to be playing with their favorite basketball player, make their own little player or whatever. The parents ain't really expecting all this bullshit to be going on behind the scenes. This is ridiculous. I hope parents see this shit and start suing the brakes off of 2K. I really hope y'all do. 
proper so that we're certain kids are not on the game even though we know kids will get on uh mature rated games i believe rating the game mature instead of e for everyone limits the liability that could be held against 2k for presenting kids with an option to accept mandatory terms of service otherwise they can't play the game that's all they're gonna see they're gonna see a pop-up on their screen saying that you have to accept these new terms of service in order to even continue to play the game what do you think 99 percent of the kids are gonna do out there they're gonna hit accept i've also received a lot of feedback on this topic that we shouldn't be surprised and that this is nothing new also that a bunch of games that provide virtual assets are doing the exact same thing and to that i say just because everybody's doing it doesn't mean that it's a huge problem i also say that it's better late than never and a lot of people are surprised because they had no idea there's supposed to be a wholesome quality in gaming that i'm hoping one day we can get back to but it's because of this wholesome quality that most gamers they're just unaware of this stuff even existing they don't expect this level of complication just to play their game a lot of players expect these items that they're purchasing with their hard-earned money to be assets that they'd be able to retain for as long as they have the game so i fully understand why it's surprising to a lot of folks that these are the terms of service i can't tell you how many people after learning about the terms of service that they've already agreed to not to mention the new terms that are coming out february 28th i can't tell you how many players said they're done playing 2k it's one thing to see the error codes it's one thing to play through the error codes or lose your builds it's one thing to have that happen to you as a gamer it's quite another to see it all written in black and white the company that you're giving your hard-earned money to say we're not liable or responsible for anything you purchase. I'm definitely curious to hear your feedback. Hopefully you guys are a little more informed on the terms of service. We're just in a weird place in gaming. And as the success for gaming developers continues to grow, it seems like the rights for consumers are continuing to dwindle. And it's about facts. And that's why emulation is on the rise. I support emulation. I support emulation regardless. I don't care if you pirate your games. I don't care if you do the emulation legitimately. I don't care how you do it. I support emulation, bro. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. I support emulation. I support pir piracy. I support all that shit. Do what the fuck you want to do with these games. Because these companies don't give a fuck about you. Let's not give a fuck about them. I don't want to support no company. I don't care if your game is free. I don't care if your game is free to play. I ain't showing you no love, nigga. Fuck your game. But anyway, so that's just going to about do it for this one. I just wanted to get this out the way. This is really scumbag. This is scumbag activity by um 2K to the highest fucking degree. This is the highest fucking degree of scumbag uh, levels. Like, EA don't even do this type of shit, bro. They might, but... They not so fucking bolsterous about it. This is fucking egregious what's going on right now with 2K. 2K, fuck you forever, bro. You profit, you profit off a man's death. You charging all this acts. You charging all this money just to have fun with the fucking game. 2K's downfall will be so beautiful. It's going to be a great day when we see 2K's official downfall because the day we see 2k's official downfall i think i can die happy knowing that these motherfuckers fuck their own game up because the i'm just i'm i'm just gonna come out saying right now bro the sports gaming genre is dead now hopefully 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 we we come into the end of the football season we coming to the end of the football season. And I think right before next season. Right before next season. EA and the NFL's exclusive uh, partner agreement is going to be up. And hopefully the NFL does not re resign with EA and allows other video game companies to make football games. Cause I feel like if the NFL can become if the NF if football games can go back to other developers, I think that would help the sports genre so fucking much. Cause once EA took over the football genre, it's like everything just died. Everything died. The basketball games died. The football games died. Obviously, the baseball game stopped. The soccer game stopped. The hockey game stopped. It seemed like we don't get no variety no more. That's really what we need. We need variety in the sports genre. At PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1 era, 
we had so much variety of sports games that the sports genre was thriving. We didn't we didn't we didn't have to answer to just one fucking game every fucking year. There was so many there was so much variety. And hopefully going forward we can get that variety back with the NFL not re- not renegotiating with EA. I feel like that would be the first step towards changing a lot of shit. Because if that happens, the ecosystem of the sports genre changes. And I guarantee you, there will be hella NFL licensed games out there on the market. I guarantee you. It's just up to the NFL. We we, we bank it on the NFL because if that happens, that could lead to more in basketball games. And if we get more basketball games... 2K goes in it. 2K is at. 2K is done. 2K knows if there's a more variety of games, they're done. Even if they still are the best game out there, they're done. Because everybody's going to give the other games a chance. And even if they're not as good as 2K, I feel like those games are still going to get more love if, as long as they don't do what 2K any of 2K's practices, but that's just me though. Tell me what y'all think down in the comment section below. Obviously, we need more variety. Hopefully, if the NFL comes to their senses and stops working with EA, you've been making the same fucking game for how long now? Please stop. We need more variety in the sports genre because when we get more variety, we can we can fix this. We can fix all the mess that's in here. Because once exclusive partnerships start to happen with EA, that's when you, that's, that's when everything went to shit. Anyways, though, I'll see you on the next video. So much I think down in the comment section below. I'll get back to you too then. Peace out.